good? I never know. Okay. Hey everyone, it's Kate from Wildly Unprepared and now I am in Melbourne. I flew from Sydney to Melbourne earlier this week and I've been exploring all week. It's been a little bit rainy, a little bit smoky because we're here during the brush fires, but right now we are exploring the city and we are on Fitzroy. We're walking down Gertrude Street. Gertrude? Come on. Gertrude Street, really cute little shopping center. I got my coffee from Gordon's Coffee. Apparently that's the best shop, pretty good. And I'm gonna show you the best things to do in Melbourne. I mean, Kara, where are we? Uh, Fitzroy Gardens. Why is this the top place you should go in Melbourne? Because uh, it's easy to walk to on your way to other places. <laughs> <laughs> she is not wrong. <laughs> Another really amazing area to go to in Melbourne is St. Kilda. Bars, <laughs> there's an arcade, restaurants. It's right by the water. Seems to be where all the hip people hang, hip people hang out. It's kind of like um, Venice in LA. Bookstores. Okay, it's going. If you didn't know, I'm also a beer connoisseur as well as a TV host, traveler, all of the above. Amazing, I know. So I got these 12 beers. <laughs> and I'm gonna let you know which ones are the best. Nice and hoppy. Try this one. Subtle hints of tree bark. <laughs> I don't like that one, whatever it is. Hey. That was good. Kara and I are doing a bar crawl. Self-guided. Self-guided. <laughs> Throughout St. Kilda in Melbourne. We've been to one bar so far. We've been to three. No, we have it. Yeah, we have. When? This morning when we got six beers and then the <laughs> other one when we just got one beer. That's two bars and the first one wasn't in St. Kilda. That girl was really pretty and it reminded <laughs> me to look my camera up. <laughs> <laughs> look how tall I am. It's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we're drunk.
today we're going on a hike to Mornington Peninsula. We are in Melbourne. This is day two. It's pretty rainy, which is weird because it's their summer, but luckily we're getting nice weather tomorrow. And today we are going on a hike through a beautiful, you know, area. And there's a hot spring that we get to go in and swim in, and it's gonna be a good time. We're using hike and seek tours, about $120 per person, and a good way to see the nature outside of the city. Girl. What are we doing? Hiking. Okay, can you elaborate a bit? Not really, because I don't really know where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> where are we? What city? What country? We're in Morningston Peninsula. We just saw some kangaroos. And now we're going to go on a hike. And then later, we're going to go to some hot springs. They're the, natural hot springs. The enthusiasm is impalpable. <laughs> Not a TV house. <laughs> the ocean. It was like a twenty minute hike to get to the ocean part. It's really, really hazy and smoky because of the fires going on right now in Australia, but it's still really cool. Full of uh, convicts that got sent to uh, Van Diemen's Land, otherwise known as Tasmania, um, from England. Uh, one had committed manslaughter and one was already in uh, Melbourne. I think he stole a loaf of bread, something along those lines, not much. They were both uh, 23 years old oh. and they both got sent to Tasmania um, to, to be hung, uh, at which point they uh, met each other and teamed up and uh, escaped from Tasmania where they, uh, they hijacked or commandeered a boat. So they basically um, took the captain hostage and forced them to come over to um, this coast uh, where they uh, forced a couple of deckhands to roll them to the closest uh, beach, which happened to be here, uh, where they holed up here for a couple of weeks. I think it was uh, six weeks until the farmer came down and uh, confronted them. Um, and they were a little bit hostile towards him. So uh, he went back and told the uh, police in Melbourne that there were some bush rangers down here. Uh, and so the, the police got a posse together, came down and uh, grabbed them both, sent them back on a boat to Tassie where they were hung uh, shortly thereafter. So they had known each other, I think it was 40 days or something between uh, the time they met they committed their crime, so also while they are in Tasmania, they ended up uh, shooting uh, a landowner there, stealing his horses, and they just basically, they were in escape mode and they were doing whatever they had to do to get out of Tassie. There's really cool black rocks. The water's pretty cold. Oh my, it's coming to me. Yes, okay, well, this is the Mornington Peninsula. Voila! A bit of a hike back up. Okay. Struggling. Oh. A little bit. Oh, 
I'm so adventurous running through the peninsulas of Australia and I've mastered the accent. Blenny fish. What does that do? He doesn't do anything. We're at the Morningside Peninsula, which is really pretty, but it's insanely smoky right now because of the fires. You can't tell completely, but like that is all smoke. We're in the reflex or like reflexology pool and it's just a bunch of rocks. And Kara's freaking out. <laughs> She's literally acting like somebody's trying to murder her. Proud of yourself. <laughs> 